Biking is really the most enjoyable type of transportation. It's functional and it's fun. Puts the fun in functional. <laughs> My name is Allison Hill and I'm the Director of Development and Communications for the Community Cycling Centre. I've been here for uh, a year as an employee and I was here for a year before that as a volunteer. Right now we're in the basement of the Community Cycling Centre and this is a place that not a lot of people get to see and all the bikes that are hanging in these racks have been donated by people in the community and every year we get about 5,000 bikes donated. And above us we can hear people walking back and forth because that's the bike shop. And there are people up there looking at bikes, working on bikes, testing bikes, looking at accessories, and people um, offering programs. In a couple of minutes we might hear a lot of feet and that might be the summer camp kids getting back from their bike ride at the end of the day. Bike Summer Camp is, is really all about having fun on bikes. And so what's the best way to have fun on bikes? It's getting out and exploring the neighborhoods. And so we start here at the Community Cycling Center, and it really depends on the age of the kids and their skill levels, because each camp is slightly different. Um, but, you know, they'll, they'll look at the bike map in the morning and they'll figure out where they want to go. Sometimes they'll go to a pool if it's a hot day, and sometimes they'll go to, uh, you know, the firehouse if it's a, if it's a rainy day. Or if they're feeling adventurous, they'll ride up to the top of Mount Tabor or to Rocky Butte. It really depends. But again, the key is really just getting out and seeing this great city that we live in and being a part of the bike community. I wanted to take this camp because I wanted to get better at bike riding and because I just learned how to ride a bike, that would be a little hard for me. So I came to this camp. We learned how to take a tire off the bike and the tube out of it and then get the air into the tube if you have a flat tire and then put it back in. Well, you mentioned the Holiday Bike Drive and that's one of our favorite events of the year. That's where we create the next generation of cyclists because we help give away 500 bicycles to kids whose families couldn't otherwise afford them. And the Holiday Bike Drive is, um, it takes place at Legacy Emanuel Hospital and we invite kids who have been recommended from um, social service agencies whose families could use a bike. So we, um, we, we invite their whole family, they come, we teach bike safety education, they get a brand new helmet fitted to them, they choose a bike among the, the rows and rows of shiny bikes that are lined up in this beautiful room at, the, at Legacy Emanuel, and then they take a test ride, and then they go home with their brand new bike. Alberta is a really vibrant street, uh, you know, it's very creative and there are lots of, um, this, there's a lot of diversity here, you know, there, there's a really interesting history on this street and one of our neighbors is the Alberta Clown House and, and I haven't met them individually, personally, but I certainly appreciate their creative way of living. I've never owned a car. And I'm 38. I bike everywhere I go. We're about to move house because we can't afford to live in this house anymore. But we're going to move it all by bike. We got everything here by bike, and I have a dog treat business, and I do all the deliveries on tall bikes. So you don't need a car. So, um, you don't need a car. You can get to all of the same places on a bike, sometimes faster, and it puts out no gas emissions, doesn't waste fuel, good exercise. So, yeah, I prefer bikes to cars. I think Portland definitely has a bigger biking community than um, the town I came from. I lived in Santa Barbara at, at one point and they have a really nice bike network system, um, but I wasn't biking as much then. And then I lived in San Francisco and um, there was definitely a biking community, but not as, not as visible a one. Portland was just voted, uh, once again, the best bicycling city in the United States. And it's that for a reason, because when you walk around or you ride around or you drive around, you look around Portland and you see all kinds of people on bicycles. A lot of kids I know don't even like ride their bikes that much. They're like, I don't want to ride my bike. You can make my mom give me a ride. 30 years ago, about 70% of kids used to ride their bikes to school. And nowadays that number is less than 10%. One, because teens don't 
they don't realize how healthy it is. And adults know more about like what's going on. They understand it more than teens do. Portland has always had a large portion of people who bike for recreational purposes. Um, I'm a history student at PSU and I've studied a lot about Portland's recreating habits. And it's always been a big part of life in Portland. I think partly just because of the environment and its bikeability. It's naturally bikeable. It's a healthy thing to do. It exercises you and everyone loves to bike in Portland. 